Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. Today's first invention will take you to the moon, or at least make you feel like you could go. Take a few matches and cut off the red, scratchy head with a pair of pliers. Once we have enough of them, group them together like cows in a herd and find what we'll use for the body of our little spaceship. Take the support out of this tiny syringe and fill it with as many match heads as it will hold. Despite its small size, there is plenty of room. Once the syringe is filled, remove the black rubber piece from the support and use it to seal the hole at the top carefully. Get your threatening saw, which we'll use to cut off the tip of the syringe. With the drill, enlarge the hole and with a nail file like the one you see on the screen, sand the irregular edges that may be left. Look at how smooth it is, smooth like a baby's butt. The matchbox will also be useful. Cut the scraper with scissors. Look how scratchy it looks. With the help of a small thin wooden stick, let's turn part of the scraper into a little churro and cut it. Get some super glue to stuff the churro with and prevent it from peeling off. Get it? Stuffed churro? I can't stand this diet any longer. Everything I do reminds me of food. I want some chips. Put one of these pieces of hardware onto the churro and remove the stick so you can insert it into the syringe hole. Then push it until it clicks. Don't tell me it doesn't look like a piece of advanced engineering. Apply a little glue to the nut to make sure it won't come off, although it already looks pretty tight. At the nearest stationery store, buy five bucks worth of black foam and what appears to be a rare pink to make the wings of our spaceship. Arrange them in a position and glue the edges of the foam triangles together. Join them to form this pointed cross. This specifically designed part will be installed on the back of our spacecraft's body. The other little black triangles will be glued on the sides of the ship to make it look faster than a Formula One car. Our super spacecraft, designed by me, created by me, patented by me, and with the NASA quality seal is practically ready. We only need to add the phosphorus that will activate the invention. Place the match inside the cardboard churro, being careful not to light it. When it touches the ground, sparks will come out. We're not finished yet. Let's create a slingshot which will give our ship a little lift. The slingshot should count as another invention. I mean, since you might complain that I only did two inventions when I said there'd be three. Yes, I'm talking to you, person who takes it personally. Okay, finish unfolding the clip and diagonally cut one end of the popsicle stick. Proceed to glue two of the cut sticks to one whole stick, creating the basic shape of the slingshot. Reinforce the handle with a few more layers of sticks on each part to prevent it from breaking when we force it with our incredibly strong muscles. I used to break my neighbor's windows with these beautiful toys when I was a child. Stick one more popsicle stick into the opening you can see on the screen and mark the correct size. Fingers into pliers and get rid of the piece we won't need. Put the stick back into the opening, thus completing the reinforcement of our slingshot. In this part of the video, I'll show you how to use it for those who didn't have a childhood or who don't have one. I forget that many of you are still children. Once the rubber band is installed, we'll be able to send our ship flying far away, just like your crush did to you. Aim with Eagle's precision and launch your ship into action. It spits smoke like a Chinese Komodo dragon and bursts like a popcorn kernel. Although, if we see it in slow motion, it looks like when you go to the bathroom after eating habanero chili. It hurts just thinking about it. The charred remains of our ship lie on the asphalt. The next invention will certainly outlast the first one, and it will also take away our hunger. Make a central hole in a soda cap with the help of this pointed tool. Through it, we'll insert a small motor that can be removed from the toy car of you-know-who. Get a hook with a pointed end and cut off the hook. We'll only keep the pointy part. Fold the tip that we cut upwards to make it easier to glue to the lid. Put lots of hot glue in there. Tuck the pointed wire in and cover it up with more hot glue. I wonder if this counts as a self-defense item. Look at this mini Coca-Cola can, so precious and beautiful. 
Who's the cutest kid in the whole franchise? Who? I'm sorry, it's just that I feel so affectionate for such tiny things. Clean up the sugary soda residue that the little can might have with toilet paper. Pull the tab off the can and make a circle around the opening with a permanent marker, which we will cut with a sharp tool. I don't really know what this thing is, but it looks very sophisticated, so we're going to use it in our invention. Make a series of small dots on one side of the can. This will tell us where to pierce so it works as an outlet for our sausage grill. Take some aluminum foil, roll it into a little ball, and put it through the hole we made in the can. Continue stuffing it with aluminum like a Christmas turkey, and then insert the weird accessory that looks like a regulator for the gas outlet. Seal it all with a combination of hot glue and duct tape to prevent leakage, and then connect it to the can of gas. Open the gas outlet by turning the knob and use the lighter to light the burner, where we'll grill our sausage. You could say that the invention is finished, but we would have to hold the sausage we want to cook ourselves, and that is unacceptable for us. Do you remember the engine with the lid and the metal stick from the beginning? Well, this is exactly what it's for. After securing the motor to the wooden stick, find a few popsicle sticks and place them in line one next to the other. Apply super glue like you see on the screen and attach two more popsicles that will hold them together. As I may have told you, I am on vacation on an island paradise and my room overlooks the ocean. So several of my remarks in the next few videos will be about my stay here. Most of what I say seems like a joke, but it's anecdotal. Get all the electronic components and start connecting the wires using the well-known process patented by Creator King. Glue the battery to the wooden support and glue the switch to the battery. Connect the excess wires to the motor plugs and we're ready to spin the sausage. Hmm, maybe I can also cook up some rotisseries. But for the moment, we'll continue with the initial plan of the sausages. These are the fat ones. Take one out of the package and impale it with our rotating rod. Get the stove and place it in line with the sausage so that it cooks perfectly. Turn on the fire and let the cooking process begin. I had a craving for some hot dog tacos. Maybe once it's cooked, I'll prepare myself some delicious street tacos. Once ready, remove it from the metal steak. Look at the perfect golden color. I'd like to get that color on the beach. Today's last invention is the one I'm most excited to show you. We're going to turn this pen into a dangerous object of defense. Remove the very top part in the ink reservoir so that all that is left is the casing of the pen. The saw will take care of slicing everything we don't need. For example, the screw piece at the top. We'll also chop off the part the tip of the pen was sticking out of. Once we have the plastic tube, we'll bring its counterpart, the pencil. Let's also slice up the pen's distant cousin since we're all equals here. No, Kevin! Just because we're all equals doesn't mean you have to slice off your finger too. Just saying. By all the end, we've just cut so that we leave it super smooth. Do the same with the holes in the plastic tube so that the pencil can fit into the hole in the tube. We have to make it thinner, but we still need to add the cable that will do the most important part of the job. Peel a piece in the center of the cable with a box cutter until you can see the metal strand through which the energy will pass. Place the wire so that the metal is touching the graphite and with some colored adhesive tape, wrap it so that it doesn't move. Once they're together as one, put it back into the hole and secure it with more tape. Buy one of those big paper clips at your nearest stationery store. When I worked at the stationery store, I always got confused between the regular paper clip, the butterfly paper clip, and this one I can't remember the name of. I've always wondered why there are so many of them. Once you have attached the cockpit of our future revolutionary anti-aircraft system, proceed to create its rims with a couple of screw caps. Attach each cap to the clip using a little bit of this super glue that I'm trying out since they didn't have the usual glue in the store. The structure is completely ready, only the electrical part is missing. We'll need a battery, a yellow button to change up the color, and the typical but reliable wires with clasp. Plus an extra piece of wire. <sighs> the tedious yet well-known process of connections. 
During these parts, I prefer to talk to you guys, my adored public, than to narrate, which I've repeated to you in the 30 odd videos you've been watching on this channel. And since I'm on vacation, why don't you tell me where and how you last escaped from your daily obligations for a well-deserved rest, or what your favorite vacation spot is. While you remember those happy days, I'll finish my electrical connections by protecting them with tape and gluing the objects together to preserve my precious order. See how it shines? It shines so beautifully! To end this hardworking day of fantastic inventions, let's create firepower from matches. Prepare a tablecloth for the mix and start to crush the magic dust from the matches with tweezers. Or if you want to be unique and crafty, you can sand it like me. Anyway works as long as you extract that flammable powder. Once you have enough, group it together and put it inside the cabin. Make sure nothing is wasted, guys. That which will be launched against our enemies is nothing more and nothing less than balls of aluminum foil. Easy to obtain, cheap, and moldable. They're perfect. There's never been a more powerful, elegant, deadly, or cheap system in the history of mankind. The sheet hardly survived the attack. It spits flames like a Nordic dragon. I think it was a bad idea to use something so flammable for the test. The poor leaf now rests with the fish. Times of death, early in the afternoon. Reason for death, invention of Creator King. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.